this is part 2 video let's delete the material uh, input coming from workbench uh, instead we will define the material input within encode itself go to material map here is a um, uh, glyph pipe which calls the material from workbench i'm just going to delete this instead i'm going to assign the material from you can see this uh, uh, flow between the bill of material and the analysis engine got disconnected now we can delete this glyph and edit material mapping and we can use for all this material by default it uses a, a multi or ratiation curve instead we can use a standard SN curve browse for the material library from encode installation directory glyphworks maps standardized flow so this material is made up of uh, chromium steel with yield strength of 397 it is also possible to have um, a view of SN curve of this material this is the SN curve of material take a grab of this image later we will be using this SN curve to compare the encode result with the hand calculated values so assign this okay now vibration generator is the place where we are going to specify the sign dwell specification double click on it get into advanced tab change the uh, type of uh, vibration uh, as i mentioned earlier uh, ANSYS encode design life do not support uh, the direct way of setting of sign dwell uh, specification we are going to look at the workaround of using a sign sweep specification notice that there are two sign sweep tests available we are going to use sign sweep 2 specification to mimic sign dwell specification so we are going to dwell at 47 heads in the sign sweep i'm going to use a small tolerance of uh, one heads uh, for the sweep range and the frequency step is 0 0.05 heads this frequency step may influence our result we will uh, look at its influence at the later stage um, type of the test is acceleration now move on to vibration properties to specify the actual um, the sweep profile or draw 46.5 to 47.5 um, this um, amplitude uh, is nothing but a scale factor for the stresses uh, that's coming from any FEA tool uh, it doesn't really mean uh, either acceleration or force or stress whatever the value that we put here it's going to uh, scale the stresses that's coming from a FEA software now we are uh, set with the specification there are a couple of more settings uh, we need to do double click on that uh, we have discussed earlier that we are going to use the unaveraged nodal stresses so I'm going to uh, change this to uh, node on element uh, stress and the loading method has to be changed from a default PSD to sign sweep and say ok I think now we are uh, set to run this analysis uh, let's let's run the analysis and look at the results and uh, let's understand if we need to do any further changes ok here is an error it says uh, we have to um, use uh, standard SN curve instead of using a default multi ratio SN container. Okay, understand the error message. Right click on uh, vibration analysis, get on to advanced edit, say no. Um, first, look at uh, the run one analysis definition and under SN engine, change this to standard and mean stress correction this is a pure sinusoidal wave there won't be any mean stress so set the mean stress correction as none however if you are using any static offset you can choose the appropriate mean stress correction technique okay there are two analysis engines refined the first analysis run and um, does a kind of a brief calculation and filters out only the critical node for a detailed second level run not getting into the details of um, the analysis 1 and analysis 2 run definition here probably we will look at um, in some other introduction um, uh, video
in analysis engine 2 also we need to change the SN method use standard and mean stress correction let's say no mean stress correction right now now we can run this analysis the analysis is complete um, now we can uh, look at uh, the damage level the damage level coming is um, 1.9 e power minus 5 um, now let's uh, look at the expected uh, damage value for uh, this calculation let's go back and we are um, having a peak principal stress of 345 it's a pure sine wave of uh, 47 hertz frequency so our stress amplitude is going to be um, 345 hence the range is um, 690 MPa uh, we have uh, seen the SN curve of this material uh, earlier uh, around 690 uh, MPa let's look at how many number of cycles this material can withstand this material can approximately withstand uh, 2.4 uh, e power 6 uh, cycles that's your capital N small n is number of cycle uh, that the structure is actually subjected to it's uh, subjected uh, to a frequency of 47 hertz for 5 hours um, each hour is 60 minutes each minute is 60 seconds so these many uh, cycles now we can calculate the damage using a minus rule uh, the damage turns out to be uh, 0.35 and life is uh, inverse of the damage which turns out to be 2.8 times uh, the damage calculated um, 0.35 is uh, nowhere uh, close to the damage uh, predicted by encode which is 1.9 uh, 10 to the power minus 5 and also let's look at uh, the uh, cyclic uh, histogram uh, what is the stress range and um, what's the number of cycles uh, we are getting um, we uh, we would expect kind of a one single uh, stress range of uh, uh, 690 and the number of cycles to be um, uh, 47 uh, for uh, one second we don't see that anywhere let's look at uh, what's what's causing this difference um, let's let's move on to um, the vibration analysis engine by default it is going to use the loading and all the frequencies available in the RST file instead of that we are going to change this to only loading frequencies and also we may say the um, um, now, now let's run the analysis again and look at uh, how it uh, changes okay um, let's look at the cycle histogram um, now the stress range is uh, coming uh, pretty close um, uh, 695 we supposed to get um, 690 but the number of cycles it looks like total uh, 25 um, but it looks like if we sum of all these uh, three ra three or four ranges we may get 47 um, th this is because uh, the number of bins used to for the cycle counting may be a large let us make the number of bin um, as one so there will be uh, one bin to count one range and we should um, expect the frequency of uh, number of cycles as 47 by default uh, the uh, number of bin control is not exposed under vibration analysis engine let's bring um, the number of bins uh, to be used for cycle counting uh, scroll down this to um, vibration load data and on your right uh, window look for a uh, cycle count bin say select expose selected properties one okay now come back to vibration analysis engine double click you can see the number of bins to be used for a cycle count let's say this is one and let's uh, run the uh, analysis again okay upon upon uh, running the analysis uh, let's look at the count now we are seeing a 47 and the stress range let let, let me change the scale uh, to better visualize uh, this the scale is uh, going to be say 300 to um, say 
300 to 900 and the number of cycles let's say 50 say apply and okay, you can you can see um, uh, approximately 47 cycles happening um, Forty-seven cycles happening at the mean stress of uh, six ninety MP. In fact, we can have a look at this uh, with the, uh, the display values. Bring a display value tab. Take the cycle count histogram and connect it here. You can see that six eighty-nine. This is approximately sixteen um, six ninety and forty-seven cycles. But this is this is happening for um, one heads. But actually, what we need is. Uh, we need uh, this for uh, five hours of duration. For five hours of duration, <coughs> we supposed to have a, a number of cycles at uh, five into sixty into sixty. This is vibrating at forty-seven hertz. So this many cycles we supposed to have. Um, let's go and uh, specify the number of cycle details. Uh, by default, uh, the the option to specify uh, number of sweeps is uh, not available. Uh, please note that the vibration exposure duration here, this is meant for um, kind of a PSD uh, based random vibration analysis, not meant for a sine sweep based random vibration analysis. So we need to expose uh, the number of sweep data uh, through this. Okay, scroll down uh, to vibration load provider and look for number of uh, sweeps number of sweeps say exposed properties say ok now uh, we will have option to specify number of sweeps I am going to stop this recording here let's continue in part 3